Okay, you are looking live at rallies that are being held in West LA. All across the country today as part of a national day of action on immigration reform. Washington is working on an immigration reform package that is aimed at establishing a clear path to citizenship. KTLA 5 Sarah Welch is in West LA where hundreds of people are voicing their support. Sarah. Well, Glenn, there are hundreds of people here. This rally going on, it's actually just beginning to wrap up now. We're outside Senator Feinstein's West L.A. office. You can see some of the signs and the banners, the police presence. This rally is all about putting pressure on Congress and getting this broken system fixed, creating a clear and fair path, they say, to citizenship for some 11 million undocumented immigrants living in this country. Now, many of the people who are here today say that includes, most importantly, keeping families together. This this morning, uh, delegations of family members have been meeting with the senator's staff. We know the senator has been a friend and ally when it comes to immigration rights, but many of the people that are here today are concerned. She wants to eliminate a current law that permits U.S. citizens to bring their siblings here and legalize them. And joining us now is uh, Jose Juan Gutierrez. Uh, tell us what group you're with. I'm with Vamos Unidos USA, and I coordinate the Full Rights for Immigrants Coalition in Southern California. You have a problem with the senator's stance on family unity. I have a problem, and many people in the community have a problem with the current stand of, the, of Senator Dianne Feinstein on family unity. She's proposing that we get rid of things in immigration law that help people keep their families together. Uh, we think that's taking the process backwards, not forward, fixing our broken immigration system. And she's put out a statement here. Just with, now. Just now, in response to this massive demonstration in front of her office, where she says that, you know, she supports uh, comprehensive immigration reform, uh, you know, so on and so forth. We know that. But what she didn't address is the issue that brought many of us here today, which is, uh, uh, is she going to support, is she going to reconsider her stand on family unity uh, in immigration law, yes or no? And, and so far, she, she hasn't. And so we're going to keep insisting that as a strong ally and, 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 and having our community, having been historically strong supporters of her uh, position as our, as our one of our two senators, you know, they, they should do the right thing. You know, this is not right. She knows it's not right or she needs to know. Somebody needs to tell her and we came to tell her today. Okay. We know that uh, this, this so-called gang of eight has been working to craft this proposal. We know that they are close. How do we create a clear path to citizenship when there are so many paths to consider? Well, I think that what uh, the Congress of the United States needs to do is to get the representatives of our community involved in the conversation. So far, it's the White House, and we appreciate that. It's the House of Representatives. It's the Senate. It's the Gang of Eight. Well, what about the people that are affected or their representatives? I think that we, we, we've been working with this issue for almost 30 years. We know it inside out. We know what's wrong with it from our point of view. We like to see what concerns they have in Congress and in the White House so that we can address those and, 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 and bring about the best possible solution to fix our broken immigration. System. Uh, Juan, thank you so much. And again, the group here believing that they are close now as ever. And there's going to be another rally this afternoon right. at 3 o'clock in Van Nuys. Uh, we'll have developments later on. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio.